All right, so Lauren Hughes here with Integrity Home Group and Keller Williams Preferred. We are on, we're going in on like 20 minutes right now talking about credit scores and credit reports and I haven't even moved down the page yet. So just with what, what we've been doing and now I wanna to get to the overall credit usage part and this is actually where why my credit score, well, one of the two reasons why it is sub 800 right now. The first is which is that late payment from Wells Fargo three years ago, the one and only, but it's also under eight because of my overall credit usage. I'm currently at 78%. That's high. Um, it's actually in the red zone, or actually I just got under the red zone. The red zone was at 80%, I'm now at 78. And I need to get that, in order to get that green, I've gotta be less than 30% credit usage. and. I used to be there. Uh, now I utilize my debt a lot better than I used to, and it does it does affect my score a little bit. That late, late payment on Wells Fargo, that's really the, the crusher. And then it would be above 800 if my credit usage was lower. However, I run a real estate investment firm, and so I do monitor my good and bad debt. Uh, with that said, I am an accredited investor. I am a licensed broker, a, a real estate broker in the state of Colorado. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a credit guru. I'm just someone that highly depends on it and has worked on my credit since my 18th birthday because literally I went to Bank of America uh, right down the street and I signed up for my first checking account and it, on my 18th birthday and then subsequently had my credit card removed I mean, almost in record speed after that. <laughs> anyway, so I've been I've been at this for a while, and anyway, with the overall credit usage, uh, ideally you get to thirty percent. Right now, mine is at seventy eight percent, which I'm getting into the orange from the red, but that does negatively affect my my credit score. And I'm looking at, and then over if I look at the debt summary. Uh, I have a lot of credit card and lines of credit debt, almost, I'm probably, that's 40%, and then I have a loan debt of, that's probably 60%. So 40% of my loan or my credit card usage is considered credit card or credit line debt. And then the other 60, I would say 60% is loan debt, and that's my mortgage. Uh, so that is my conventional mortgage though with the standard APR that you normal people get when they buy a house. <laughs> now we're going to talk about why my credit line is so high and I will preface that I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a human that made some mistakes and took some bad advice. And so before you decide on what kind of a mortgage you want, I would suggest you talk to at least three lenders, maybe a couple financial advisors and figure out the best thing for you because I didn't do that. And I, well, I can't think of polite language to you, so I'm just gonna not say anything other than I made a mistake. And <laughs> so, and when, so we're gonna go back to my credit card and credit line debt right here. And it's so high, it's not because my credit cards are high. I pay my credit cards every month and I think Right now, the credit card usage is less than 5% of that number. And most of that is a HELOC, my um, home equity line of credit that I took out or I was advised to take out in lieu of a, well, it would have been a jumbo loan um, if I had gone the conventional route or the over the conventional limits jumbo just because the amount of home that we were buying because we were in a high, high-end area, which Colorado's expensive. This uh, house is actually um, in Georgia. And it's surprising that the debt, my bad debt, or what the credit bureaus say is bad debt is actually my HELOC, uh, which I am currently stuck in. And that has hurt my credit scores because my credit usage is so much and I'm having a hard time refinancing that. And so that is a mistake that I won't make again. Um, so watch your credit to overall credit usage because that will affect your score as well. And you wanna get under 30%. So thank you guys. We're almost done. Stick with me for just a couple more videos.